All right, uh, hello everybody. Today I'm gonna talk about quickly on how to hook up these uh, wonderful uh, 60 volt, 45 amp uh, motor controllers. Uh, you can buy them in pairs uh, for front and rear wheel drive. Uh, the rear controller does all the working, the front uh, follows the rear one. So there's a communication between the two. Uh, they make it fairly easy to hook, hook them up together. It's a matching plug. The rest of it is called good luck. So, uh, some of these you probably will know already. The three uh, wires, uh, green, yellow, and uh, blue, um, that are thicker are for the motor. The uh, square plug or rectangular plug that's here, white in color, that's a Hall effect uh, sensor that's in the motor. Uh, you have two plugs that are designed for a, uh, a throttle control. One is uh, two wire one, green and white, and green and yellow. It's uh, the communication itself. Uh, the uh, three prong one is uh, 60 volt power, uh, ground and uh, trigger to turn on. You have one that's listed for lights. You got the main power coming in. You got the eco and boost mode to be selected. You got the brakes. You got the plug that for communication. Uh, you have the two white uh, wires that are um, uh, for uh, motor learning, uh, forward and reverse learning. Uh, you also have a brake light and you have the two uh, yellow wire. I, I didn't look into these two, uh, but I believe they're for reverse. So I haven't looked into it. So the biggest uh, struggle that uh, seems like uh, uh, people might have is how to hook up this whole uh, thing. Uh, the three motor wires are connected. We grab the B plus, we connect the B plus, we connect the B plus, and um, you would hook up and push the button on the controller. Controller goes on, and uh, simply you can give it some throttle, and uh, you will see that my wheel will will attempt to spin a little bit, but because it doesn't have a Hall effect sensor, it wants to stop. So this uh, sensor is uh, uh, Hall effect uh, dependent, or this controller is Hall effect dependent. Uh, so uh, how did I get this to work? Uh, the only trick in this whole thing is this wonderful a bunch of wires that's right over here. Uh, I listed it as the key slash lights and the main reason for that is there is a three prong connector and then there's the two prong connectors. You will follow and you will find out that one of the two, two one of the red wires that going into this three prong connector is the 60 volt power. It's designed to go into a lock mechanism and it's designed to make a loop. So I ended up putting a loop with one of these little prongs. You can always uh, cut it, uh, uh, make it uh, permanent, or you can put a lock mechanism uh, through it. Connect those two and now your display will be able to turn on. Without that, your, your display will never turn on and you will struggle. I hope this video was uh, helpful. Uh, thank you very much.